This is a video I found several minutes ago, and it's about a guy called Robert Stakovic. Stakovic is how you pronounce it in the official language, but it's American English, so I believe it says Stakovic. But okay, this guy, he stayed 48 years on the run for the police. Almost five decades ago, yes, five decades ago, he was arrested for a robbery. He had to spend 17 years in jail. He only served two years and he escaped from prison. When he escaped from prison, he took an airplane back home. But because they were looking for him, he couldn't stay with his mother. So he waited. While he stayed at other places till he got a new social security number with an alias. And he used his alias for the rest of his life. But he made a mistake when he went for a health check and he used his real name and it's there that he caught him. He had a job. He even gave lessons at a school, I believe it was a technical school. So he stayed out of trouble for the rest of his life, never involved with crime again. But here it comes. He was haunted by several diseases, of which some of them became fatal onto him. And it was when the diseases were finishing him off that he made a mistake and they discovered who he was. And they wanted to arrest him so he could serve another 15 years in prison. He asked them not to do it, and eventually he was left alone, and he died a few months later, though to his diseases. But I would dare to say that the stress of him possibly going to prison again may have contributed to his early death. Well, early, he was already in his 70s, which kept on saying he could have remained alive for a bit longer. Now, why am I talking about this case? The reason I talk about this case is because... I'm going to use it to teach you something. No, this is not a video in teaching you how to stay on the run for the police. But I will use this case as a parable. This man, okay, let me point out where he is. This man, he was practical. He knew that under his real name, they would find him. So he used an alias and he stayed away from trouble. But here's the thing. It haunted him. He had relief for 48 years, but this relief expired. So during those 48 years, he accumulated diseases and sicknesses. And eventually the relief expired. And it became fatal onto him. Now that's how it goes with the paranormal. What you get is real in the sense that it works. But as they say in the world, even unbelievers say this, Satan always comes to collect. There's a difference between deliverance and relief. A lot of people get relief and they're so happy with the relief. But they don't look at the bigger picture and realize, okay, if I get this relief, it's just relief. The danger is not gone. And in the case of this man, he got relief by using an alias. But the alias was not who he was. It was just something he used. And he was practical in using it, but the charges were not removed. The authorities stopped looking for him. Because authorities need to use their capacity for other criminal cases. So, yes, he had relief because the authorities were not looking for him. But the case was still there. The sentence was still there. So it was just a matter of time during his lifetime before the sentence would catch up with him. So he was relieved when he escaped from prison. But he was not delivered. Because he had an easy going life because he was not in trouble with the law anymore. But it cost him his health. 
So understand the following. And I'm not saying this man used paranormal eight, but for all people out there that make use of the paranormal, there's always some side effect that will haunt you with after effects. And that's the difference between someone that's delivered and someone that's relieved. Someone that's relieved will always be haunted and what's haunting them will catch up with them. The believer is delivered. So whatever haunts the believer is doomed to fail. So the believer will be haunted, but the hauntings will fail because the believer is delivered. So whatever you're going through, don't rely on your own understanding. Walk by faith so you will have deliverance and not relief. And apart from this guy over here, everyone that makes use of paranormal eight will be catched up by whatever is haunting them. There is no one out there that makes use of paranormal eight and nothing catches up with them. If someone out there that's not following Christ, they're using paranormal eight and they claim that nothing ever is catching up with them, they are lying to you. Only naive pagans, because you have naive pagans, despite their practical, you have naive pagans that think that nothing will catch up with them. Smart and experienced pagans know that things will catch up with them sooner or later. It's the naive ones or the wannabe pagans that think that nothing will catch up with them. So that's why, believer, sometimes you go through stuff and you think, Lord, why? I'm telling you why. You have deliverance with you. Not only do you walk out of that prison, but they erase your record. Also with you, they encounter so much trouble and they're so exhausted that they never again want to even hear about you. So even when you're there and they can arrest you and do what they want to do, they won't do it because it will trigger all the bad memories and painful events that they've encountered while pursuing you. That's how it goes with someone that's delivered. They walk out of the prison or they're kicked out of that prison. That can also happen. And the prison doesn't want them ever again. You hear that? The prison doesn't want them. Someone that's relieved is out of prison, but the prison keeps longing after them. The prison keeps going after their life. The prison keeps stalking them. That's how it goes with someone that has relief. Believer, you're meant to be free. You're meant to be delivered. So always seek deliverance. Be at peace.